the circumference of a circle is the perimeter of the circle. It's the length outside, the length of the outside of the circle, the length around the circle. That's called the circumference. We call a line from the center to the circumference of the circle, we call that a radius. And we call a line from one side, so from the circumference to the circumference, one side to the other, that goes through the center, we call that a diameter. In any circle, in absolutely any circle, if you take the circumference, so if you take the circumference and divide it by the diameter, you get the same number. So the circumference divided by the diameter in any circle gets the same number, and we call that number pi. So pi is, it's just a number, it's an irrational number though, so it goes on forever. So it's 3.14159265535 and so on. It goes on forever. So this is pi. And that is the number you get if you divide the circumference of a circle by the diameter of a circle. So we can rearrange this. If we multiply both sides by the diameter, we can say the circumference of a circle is equal to pi times the diameter. The circumference is equal to pi times d, pi times the diameter. Or we could say a diameter is two radiuses. So a diameter is two radiuses. So we could say the circumference is two times pi times the radius. It doesn't matter which of these two formulas we use, they are the same. So the circumference of a circle is pi times the diameter or two times pi times the radius. Let's have a look at an example. This question says, find the circumference of this circle. Give your answer to one decimal place. So we've got a circle here and we can see the radius, the radius of the circle from the center to the circumference is five centimeters. So we can use either of our two formulas, which we need to remember. So the circumference is two times pi times the radius, or the circumference is pi times the diameter. If we were using the diameter, we double the radius. A diameter is two radiuses, so that would be 10 centimeters. It doesn't matter which formula we use. I'm going to use the first one, 2 pi r. So I'm going to say the circumference is 2 times pi times 5. We could simplify this and say 2 times 5 is 10. So it's 10 pi. And if we were giving our answer in terms of pi, that's how we'd write it. But the question is asking us for one decimal place. So we're going to have to use a calculator. So we're going to type into the calculator 2 pi times 5 or 2 times pi times 5. So the pi button on the calculator is down here. We have to press shift to get to it. You can see it's a little orangey yellow button down here. So press shift and then our standard form button, so the one in the middle, brings up the pi sign, so 2 pi times 5. So that gives us 10 pi, but we want our answer to one decimal place. So press the S to D button, and we get 31.415 and so on, to one decimal place, that's 31.4. So 31 31.4 centimeters to one decimal place. Here's a question for you to try. So give this one a go. So we're finding the circumference and we've got a radius of eight centimeters. 
if we were using the diameter, we would double the radius, which would be 16 centimeters, 2 eighths of 16. We can use either one of the formulas. It doesn't matter which one we use, we get the same answer. So it's 2 times pi times the radius. In this case, 2 times pi times 8. And we're going to give our answer to one decimal place. So let's type it in the calculator. 2 times pi times 8. We get 16 pi. Or to one decimal place, we've got 50.265 and so on. 6 is bigger than 5. It's 5 or above. So we round up. So it's 50.3. So 50.3. And the units are in centimetres. Circumference is a length. It's measured in centimetres. Or metres. Or whatever the units we're given are. And another question. Find the circumference of the circle again. This time it says give your answer in terms of pi. So the circumference is either 2 times pi times the radius or pi times the diameter. We've been given the diameter this time, the diameter of 12 meters. So I'm gonna use pi times diameter. So I'm gonna say the circumference is pi times 12. And we just write that as 12 pi. We were asked to give our answer in terms of pi. So the answer is 12 pi meters that is the answer it is in terms of pi so one for you to try give this one a go so this time we've been given a diameter of 15 centimeters and we can use the circumference as pi times the diameter if you use 2 pi r you would still get the right answer using r as 7.5 so we've got pi times 15, which we just write as 15 pi. So the answer is 15 pi centimeters. And one more example. This time we've been given the circumference of a circle. We're told the circumference is 40 centimeters and we need to find the radius. So the circumference is either pi times diameter or 2 times pi times the radius. We've been told that the circumference is 40 centimetres. We're finding the radius, so I'll use the formula with radius in. It doesn't matter if you use the other one and find the diameter, and then half your answer. A radius is half of a diameter. So the circumference is 40, so 40 equals 2 pi times the radius. So we want to get r by itself, we want to solve the equation. At the moment r is multiplied by 2 pi, so to get r by itself we divide both sides by 2 pi. Whatever we do to one side of the equation, we do the same to the other. So the radius is 40 divided by 2 pi and we need to give our answer to one decimal place so we're going to type that into the calculator 40 divided by 2 pi and we get 6.4 6.4 centimeters to one decimal place And one of these for you to try. So give this one a go. Again, the same question. The circumference of a circle is 30 centimeters. So 2 times pi times r is equal to 30 centimeters. What is r? So again, to get r by itself, we're dividing both sides by 2 pi. So it's going to be 30 divided by 2 pi. 30 
over 2 pi to one decimal place is 4.8. We've got 4.77, and so we're rounding up to 4.8. 4.8 centimetres to one decimal place. And to finish up, we've got three questions. Find the circumference of these three circles, pause the video, give it a go, and press play when you're ready for the answers. So we need to know the formulas. We can either use the circumference is pi times diameter, or it's two times pi times the radius. We can use either of the formulas. For the first question, we have the diameter is 15.3, 15.3 meters. So I'm going to use pi times diameter. So the circumference is pi times diameter. So it's pi times 15.3. I'll type that in the calculator. Pi times 15.3. That comes up as 153 over 10 pi or 15.3 pi, and I'll press the S to D button, and to one decimal place, that's 48.1, 48.06, 6 is 5 or above, so it rounds up to 48.1. And it's in meters. Question 2. We could use either formula. If we were using the diameter, we have to double the radius, so we could say the diameter is 10.4, or we could use 2 times pi times r. It doesn't matter which way you do it. So 2 times pi times 5.2. I'll type it in the calculator. 2 times pi times 5.2. So that's 52 over 5 pi. Or 32.7 to one decimal place. And it's in centimetres. And question three, we've got a radius of 16. The circumference is 2 times pi times the radius. So 2 pi times 16. And again, type it in the calculator. So in terms of pi, it's 32 pi, or to one decimal place, that's 100.5. And it's in centimetres. 